Hello everyone and welcome back. Before I get started, please like, share, and subscribe. So we have our good sis Andrew Caldwell with the mess coming from black women yet again. Mother went on live on Instagram a few days ago to respond to Jess Hilarious. I'm guessing Ben Wagon Betty wanted to give his worthless two cents on Jess's reenactment of the whole Meg Thee Stallion Tory Lanez incident. I get he wants to give his opinion, but this fool goes too far talking about the girl prostituting, being on food stamps, and not knowing who her child's father is. Then he has the nerve to say she isn't being a role model for black women. Well, mother, you aren't doing a good job of being a role model for black women either. I'm sure he will be apologizing as he does all the time when he goes in on black women. He always has this long drawn out apology. We all know how it goes. But what he really needs to do is learn how to control that big, loose, thick tongue of his. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave your comments down below and let's discuss how everyone feels about mother wanting to give his opinion on certain things. Oh, honey, tell me all about it, honey. Tony, tell her all about it, honey. Jess, hilarious, whatever your name is, you are not hilarious. You just a no, you just a ghetto girl that's walking Martin Luther King strolling. You really need to have several seats, little girl. You are not important. You are not on the celebrity list at all. I saw what you said about uh, on the baller alert. And I saw, and have you noticed? You don't get posted that much. You're not funny. You have been falling from grace from two years by now, girl. Go find BET and finish working on some of their gigs. You just a ghetto girl just strolling on Martin Luther King. I heard probably prostituting. Yeah, I said it. Prostituting. You need to have several seats, little girl, and stop disrespecting black women. You are supposed to be a role model for other black women. You are not supposed to be bashing other black women. First of all, who are you? Do you remember when you was on food stamps? Do you even know who your baby daddy is? Do, do you pay your bills on time? Or are you sitting here waiting for a BET check? Because you, you sure ain't getting a Bravo check. You ain't getting no other checks up out here, girl. Look, little girl. What did Kim Zosiak say? Sweetie, you need to have several seats. You are disrespectful. You are a low life. You are ungodly. Girl, you need to be saying, huh? You need to pray, girl. I'm a honey, I'm gonna go ahead and send that prayers over there. And I'm a and I ain't dogging people that, that receive food stamps. Let me just make that clear. But she just a low life. Somebody that's strolling on Martin Luther King, wherever she stay at, on Martin Luther King Drash. Girl, please, close your legs, little man. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Uh. Uh. Have you paid your bills? I can loan you some money. You behind on that credit card over there that you trying to be like the Joneses? Are you behind on that credit card over there on Martin Luther King? Jess, yes, you are all woman, but you are ugly. With that with that big old stack of eyebrows, with that ponytail, 99 cent ghetto weed that you got in your hair from Walgreens. Now, before you before you try to read anybody else, you need to get your teeth fixed, and you need to get you need to get out there. You need to get out that apartment that you in, and that house that you in, that little nasty house, and clean that house up, and hire you some maid services. Since you driving around on a rain uh, on a G wagon, a Mercedes G wagon that you had to take out and put out a loan that you said you paid in cash and you lied. That's what you need to do. I can loan you some money so you can take off that car with the old girl. Okay? I can loan you some money. Holler at me if you need some money, little girl. Holler at me. Because I'm responding because I see I'm starting to watch this little trickle. Okay? You got to watch these trickle. 